so in our last mathematics period in chapter 2 angles we have studied types of angles now we will solve examples from practice set 2 question number 1 is on page number 8 you open your book page number 8 practice set 2 question number 1 match the following so measures of angle in first column measures of angles are given and second column types of angles are given so you have to match the pairs the first is 180 degree see here question number one match the pairs the first 180 degree so angle having the measurement 180 degree is called straight angle so pair for this is straight angle second is 240 degree according to our definition the angle having measurement more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree so 240 is more than 180 degree and it is less than 360 degree and such angle is known as reflex angle so the pair for this is reflex angle and third is 360 degree so the angle having the measurement 360 degree is called complete angle and the last is 0 degree the angle of measure 0 degree is 0 angle this way you can match the pairs now in question number 2 measures of some angles are given and we have to write the type of each angle according to our definition ok according to the measurement you can write it easily now here question number 3 also you have to observe the figures and observing figures you write the types of angles here now you go a protractor to draw an acute angle right angle and obtuse angle so solve this practice set now see here we are going to learn the next first we will have some information about instruments which are in our compass box now see here already we have used this instrument now see here some instruments are given here this is a compass this compass is used to draw circle or it is also used to measure distance between two points okay now here is a protractor it is used to measure the angle or to draw the required angle of to draw the angle of required measurement this is protractor now this is ruler or scale and it is used to draw the line segment of required length or to measure the length of line segment now here are figures like triangles two triangles here these are set squares these are called set squares and these set squares are used to draw perpendicular also here in this first set square you can use this set square to measure the angles of 90 degree 30 degree 60 degree that means in this set square this angle 90 degree this is 30 degree this is 60 degree in second set square you can measure angle of 45 degree and 90 degree here is a 90 degree angle and here each angle is of 40 degree and this is a divider this instrument called divider is used to this is it is used to measure the distance between two points such instruments are there now 
we will study to construct triangle bisector now we will study the construction of angle bisector of angle using compass so first angle bisector means angle bisector is a ray which divides the angle in two equal parts we divide the angle in two equal parts such ray is called angle bisector so now we will take one example how to construct of the angle bisector here now example is draw any angle abc draw it by sector now see i will draw any angle abc of any measurement This is angle A, B, C. And now we will draw its angle bisector. To draw angle bisector, so we have to use here compass. Using compass, so this is a compass. Now take a suitable distance in the compass. That means distance between the point of compass and point of your pencil. Take suitable distance and put the compass point on the vertex B. On vertex B and draw arc which cuts both the arms. The arc which cuts both the arms of this. Angle. Now here we have two points. Two points of intersection here on each arm. Here. So now change the distance. Change this distance to table and then. Again, draw two arcs inside this angle, and for that you have to take these two points of intersection. First, put point compass point on first point here, point of intersection. Draw arc inside angle. In the same distance, now put the compass point on this point, another point. Draw arc intersecting to the Yes, ah. Now here is one point inside the circle, inside the triangle. So here we get here one point, which point of intersection of two R. Now draw a ray from B and passing through this point. So this suppose this ray B O is angle bisector. Okay. In this way, you can draw angle bisector of a angle. So here you can give names to these points of the year. This point P Q like this. Point P is point of intersection. Now we will see this one construction to construct an angle equal in measure to a given angle using a compass and ruler. Now here example is there. 
ड्रॉ एंगल ए बी सी एंड ड्रॉ एंगल पी क्यू आर इक्वल टू मेजर टू ए बी सी फर्स्ट आई विल ड्रॉ एंगल ए बी सी Construct angle PQR such that its measure is equal to angle ABC. That means measurement of both angles should be same. So here we have to use compass and ruler. So first, to draw the second ang angle PQR, first draw RQR. So here. Sufficient distance. And take in angle ABC. B is the vertex. Take B as the center. That means put your compass point on vertex B and draw R, intersecting to both the arms here. Find it. Okay. Now see here. Suppose these are two points D and E. Now, with the same radius, the same distance, put your point, compass point on Q and. Draw the same R intersecting to R Q R here. Okay. Let this point be T. Take distance equal to D E. Distance equal to D E. And this distance, and put your compass point on point P here, and cut this previous R. Cut this R. So this is. Your point yes. Now draw ray from Q and passing through yes here. So this angle is your angle P Q R. So by 
using protractor you can measure the uh, both angles the measurements of both angles will be equal that means both angles are of equal measurement in this way you can construct the congruent angle to the given angle now homework for you practice set 3 use proper geometrical instruments to construct the following angles and use the compass and the ruler to bisect them so first you have to draw 50 degree angle and then bisect it then draw 115 degree bisect it then third draw 80 degree angle and bisect it and fourth draw the angle of measure 19 degree and bisect it you know how to bisect the angles so to complete this practice set okay, and now next time we will start our third chapter integers so hello students in our last mathematics lesson topic we have studied how to read and write six digit number now in this topic we are going to learn how to read and write seven digit number so already we have studied six digit number see here units tens hundreds thousands ten thousand lakhs this is one lakh now if you multiply one lakh by ten so here we get one lakh this is six digit number see here one two three four five six digit number so one lakh if you multiply it by 10, so here we get 10 lakh. Okay, now it becomes 7 digit number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it is 10 lakh. So 1 lakh into 10 is equal to 10 lakh. This 10 lakh is known as 1 million so 10 lakh means 1 million this is 10 lakh so 1 million is equal to 10 lakh So this is seven digit number. Now here see here this number now this number is how many digits are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven digits. And in here you need Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh. That means this number is eighteen lakh thirty-five thousand six hundred and forty. In this way, you can read the number. Now we'll read and write some seven-digit numbers. Now see here, seven-digit numbers are here. Written in figures and words see here 31,000 sorry 31 lakh 31 lakhs that means here you need tens hundreds thousands ten thousand lakhs ten lakhs 31 lakh 25,000 745 740. Now here this number 91 lakh and 6. That means here 
हियर जीरो टेन जीरो हंड्रेड जीरो थाउजेंड जीरो टेन थाउजेंड नाइन्टी वन लैक सिक्स इन से यू कैन राइट हंड्रेड सिक्स डेजिट नंबर नी सम नंबर सर यू आर थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स यू रेट दिस नंबर एंड राइट दिस नंबर सुनाओ विल सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम प्रॉब्लम सेट फोर प्रॉब्लम सेट फोर रेड द नंबर एंड राइट देम इन वन सर एग्जाम्पल वन सी दिस इज सेवन डिजिट नंबर सो दिस नंबर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक सेवेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी नाइन सो इन वर्स वी कैन राइट लाइन दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक सेवेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड सेवेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एट हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी फाइव था ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक सेवेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी नाइन सी ये सेकेंड This also, this is also seven digit number. So here, thirty lakh. Seventy thousand. Seventy thousand five hundred and six. Thirty lakh seventy thousand five hundred and six. In this way, so many examples. There are twelve numbers. You can read and write these twelve numbers. Similarly, you can solve question number two also. You have to read those figures. Okay. All are seven-digit numbers. Now, in next figure, we will see the expanded form of a number and the plus value of digits. Hello, some. Yeah.